All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Phantom. No, not Phantom. Uh, Masters 25 draft. Uh, I don't think Twilight Mire is worth anything, which is pretty awkward. I'm pretty sure it's actually just like Ash Baron's The Uncommon is worth more than Twilight Mire. Twilight Mire is worth about 43 cents, so not a big deal there. Watch Wolf, interesting. Colossal Dreadmaw. You can take all the Kindles we see. Uh, none of these cards are super exciting. I think it's probably just Kindle here. And just take all the Kindles. So there's a rare and two uncommons, but this takes, like, the foil takes... Oh, this is the foil. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, I think it's just actually Kindle. And it, it counts in all graveyards, too. So for the... Uh, if they're playing Kindles, we get to piggyback on their Kindles, but they also get to piggyback on our Kindles. I don't know. It's either Kindle or Oromancer, I'm thinking. I'm going to take the Kindle. Skeletonize. Is Stang any good? Somebody took the rare here, so probably a Jace right next to me, I bet. <laughs> I mean, it's two three fours for, for six mana. That's pretty bad. Gutter sniping. 11 months. Thank you so much, man. Welcome back. Um, I feel like it's just skeletonized here, but if we're not black, it's less good. We can also just take Crozen Tusker because he's very good. I don't actually don't know the, the the rankings in this format yet. I also like Ambassador Oak. Maybe that guy comes back. I feel like we can get more skeletonizes. It's probably just Tusker here. Tusker also lets us splash. So this was not a Rivals Ministrod Masters Hour of Devastation draft. Unfortunately, Myriad Landscape. What the hell is this? Cyrus is generally referred to two basic lands that share a land type, then put them up so you can get like two forests, two plains, stuff like that. That's cool, I guess. If you're into that sort of thing. Um, probably just Ambassador Oak here. Yeah, so if if Stang dies, you sacrifice the token. If the token dies, you sacrifice Stang. Not not great. I'm just gonna take Ambassador Oak. Epic Confrontation seems good. I don't think Cinderstorm is very good, right? That seems bad. Why is Congregate an uncommon? That's weird. Four mana for this? Come on. Yeah, we're just going to take Epic Confrontation here. I wish you were an instant, but uh, it is what it is. So... They're watching you, private eyes. They're watching you. How many pillages can we get to make a to make a land destruction limited deck? That's a good question. That's a good question. Actually, Zada with with things like Epic Confrontation seems pretty good. I don't hate Elvish Aberration either, but I think it's probably Zada here. If we can get more Epic Confrontations. Or Echoing Courage. Echoing Courage seems insane, right? Fierce Empath. My name is Battlefield. Six are for creature card with Convert Mass. Six are greater. Reveal put in your hand. Three mana one one is my biggest problem with that, but otherwise it's pretty good. It just lets you tutor for a guy. I think it's probably better than Browbeat. Probably better than Pillage. I'll just take Fierce Empath here. Ugh. Wah. Wah. Ember Weaver. As long as we control the red permanent ember, we get the plus one plus oh and has first strike. That's actually pretty good for us. Yeah, it's probably Ember Weaver. If we're not playing, uh, I don't think Presence is great if we're not horseshoe crabbing. We could also Crows and Tusker to find a land. 
and splash something. Could be Skirt Commando here. The problem is, like, no one's not blocking Skirt Commando. It's a 2-2, so, like, you're just... If you have a creature that trades... Like, I guess they just take it because they don't want to trade. But then they trade anyway. I don't know. I don't like having... Z multiple Zadas. It might just be Presence of Gond and then Nettle Sentinel. That does seem pretty good, actually. I'll take the Presence. Eh, I'll take a Pillage. I'll take the... Actually, it's probably Skeleton Eyes here. I like Skeleton Eyes better than Stang, to be quite honest. Um, I like Hordling Outburst better than Balduvian Horde, especially with Presence. Maybe we're just a token deck. <laughs> Dench, no one has ever told me that I have a beautiful smile. I think we just take Cinderstar and maybe Cinderstorm some, Cinderstorm some people out. I'll take the Plummet for the sideboard. I'll take the Pillage. I guess we could have three pill. Oh, Trouble Blast is actually something I, would ho I was hoping we'd come back with Hordling Outburst and uh, Presence of Gond and things like Fierce Empath. That's actually pretty sweet. Even Ambassador Oak makes dudes. Professor Ambassador Oak. Ooh, what is Blood Moon going for? 15? Taking the Blood Moon, boys. Boop. That's pretty good. Would love to take this Lightning Bolt or this Wild Heart Invoker, but I have a feeling they might come back. Sigh of the Shinobi? Dench, you are quite welcome. Living Wish? I don't think Living Wish is worth anything. Otherwise, it wouldn't be in this pack, right? Three cents. That is sad. Let me just take another Hordling Outburst. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you may attach. That's pretty It's pretty terrible. Case, it's pretty hilarious you just learning Blood Moon is in this set. There's something very, very funny about that. I don't know if I even hate Living Wish. Like, I could keep a dude in the board. Like, I can keep, like, a Colossal Dreadmaw or something. It's probably just Hordling Outburst here. You guys have been liking Psy. All right, I'm going to take the Psy because you guys are recommending it. And I haven't tested it, so it'd be nice to try it out. I'm going to take another Kindle. Although I do like Epic Confrontation with Zada, I think the Kindle's probably better for us. And we don't have a lot of big dudes just yet. So, oh, Echoing Courage, also great with the Zada. Oh, this is also great with our tokens. Oh, wow, copying this with the Zada out. If we have like three Hordling Outburst tokens, each one gets a copy of this. So they all get like plus six, plus six. Oh, that seems pretty bonkers. Oh, this Stang just keeps on coming. What does Resonator do? Copy a triggered ability you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. That's pretty boring. I can... Yeah, you can actually kindle your own Zada and then make copies. Um, I feel like now it's just staying. Two, three, fours is still just fine. I'm not in love with it, but I think it's probably better than Crimson Mage or Soul, Soul Bright Flamekin. But maybe we want a two drop. We don't have any two drops yet. I'm going to take Crimson Mage here. Yeah, second Hordling Outburst. That's kind of what we wanted. I like an Arbor Elf, but I like a Hordling Outburst better with our Epic Confrontation or Echoing, Echoing Courage Trumpet Blast deck. This guy's fine. 
Nothing nothing spectacular, but four fours four fours will do in a pinch. If you're able to four four it up. How many how many pillages do we want in our sideboard? That's the question. Ooh, zombifies in this format? That's pretty cool. That's actually awesome art too. That's fantastic. What up, Xander? Um I'm just gonna take Loxodon. I don't think we need a third pillage. The lightning bolt tabled? What am I missing? Why would that... That's really weird. I have to be the only red guy at this table, right? <laughs> what in the earth? That's weird, dude. There were eight... There were seven other cards better than this lightning bolt, and we got to take the blood moon first pick? Sure... <sighs> Profane Orifice, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. You are awesome. Agree, Case. Agree. There's no format where Lightning Bolt should wheel. Hordling Outburst came back, too. I think it's probably better than the Thresher Lizard. I don't think we want Living Wish just because we have nothing for it yet. I'd just rather have all the Hordling Outbursts I can get. I don't think we want Fierce Empath anymore because we only have Tusker so far. We also don't care about Lizard. I don't think we care about presence yet either, so this is our this is our deck so far. For those kettle corn chips. <laughs> kettle kettle Oh, Arbor Elf. That's pretty good. Alright, I'll take an Arbor Elf. Unfortunately, we do have, we already have a Trumpet Blast. It's right here. Um, unfortunately with Arbor Elf, the big problem here is that it doesn't let us play Hordling Outburst on turn two. I think it's still good enough, though. It's also a dude we can copy spells on. It was either that or, um, what was the other card in that pack? Colossal Dreadmaw? And I don't think we care about Colossal Dreadmaw. We can probably get another one. I think we actually put in one swamp. If we can splash anything else off the black, that'd be great, but one swamp is pretty cool. Yeah, opening two Jaces is pretty winning. No argument there, buddy. I actually don't know how many pillages we need to be a thing. I think it's more than two. Oh, Trumpet Blast number dose. You will go right in the main deck with Triple Hoarding Outburst. Actually, this was the other dude that I wanted to get because of our two drops. It also ramps us from six to eight, so that's pretty cool. Eh, Flunkies is pretty good, too. All right. Actually... I think this maybe it's just a browbeat deck. I wonder if we're browbeating. We still have another pack, and I'm pretty sure this deck is good like this. We could just throw something else in here. That seems pretty cool. Under the sea. Life is much better when things are better when you take it from me. Living death. Oh, that's boring. This is not the rare you're looking for. Exclude. Creatures you control have menace. That's not terrible. I think it's probably just echoing courage. Hopefully we pick up another Zada, I guess. 
Echoing Courage with Hordling Outburst seems pretty good. I don't think I care about War Drums. I mean, asking if anyone's disappointed with the value of a Master Set seems pretty, uh... Pretty obvious, right? Uh, gang controls target creature, your opponent controls target two or less, untap it, it gains haste. So you're just stealing a, a mediocre dude with a mediocre dude. Pretty sure I just want the other epic confrontation here. We have eight creatures, but we also have three hordling outbursts. So it's kind of like 11 creatures. I don't know if we're cinder storming in this deck. My problem with the epic confrontation is that we just don't have a lot of big guys to confront. It might just be Mog. Like, who are we, who are we realistically going to epic confrontate? Like, these guys are... I guess it does deal with a lot of small guys. There's a ton of small guys in this format. Maybe it is epic confrontation, actually. There's a lot of small creatures in this format. Crimson Mage, Jackal Pup. I guess it's probably just Skirk Commando here. Yeah, Skirk Commando's fine. I don't really care about it. Well, we got a Blood Moon, so that takes care of a lot of the cost of this draft. So that's pretty good. <sighs> Stampede Driver, discard a card, creatures control, plus one, plus one, trample till end of turn. That doesn't seem terrible. In fact, it seems good. Frenzied Goblin, also a common in this set. I had no idea. Pretty sure we just take Stampede Driver here. Yeah, that's our plan. Our plan is to just cast things like Echoing Courage and uh, actually, sorry, Courage. Yeah, so we would, we would cast it on Zotto, cast everything on Zotto. Another Crossan Tusker. I don't think we've got Trumpet Blast number three. Probably just want Frenzied Goblin here. Actually, I don't even think we care about the, the Swamp here. I think Skeleton Eyes is fine on its own. Frenzied Goblin number two. All right. What's Blue Elements Blast going for? Probably nothing, right? We're Magic Online here. Three cents. Art is great, though. Just take Frenzied Goblin number two. I'm going to take the Arbor Elf out because it just doesn't seem good in this deck. I don't think we're Loxodoning. So this is essentially 13 creatures. Oh, Kindle number three. All right. Deal. Loxodon's fine, but we have to, we have three cuts to make already, which I'm not really comfortable with. Pretty sure we're just taking out Tusker as well. Frenzied Goblin number three. All right, we're just going to keep taking Frenzied Goblins. Huh. Could take out Ember Weaver. Actually, Ember Weaver's pretty good here. Uh, I just use GoatBots. GoatBots is actually one of my sponsors. So, um, if you guys are looking to buy or sell Magic Online cards, I would definitely recommend them just because I used them long before they sponsored me. Which is why I was I literally asked them if they were interested. And uh, they were. So. Now yeah, the Goblin War Drums came back. Alright, that's pretty cool. And the Enthralling Victor came back. Boy, this deck is pretty good. I have no idea what to cut now. Uh, 
Ah, oh, whenever you cast instant sorcery spell targets only Zada. Oh yeah, so upper confrontation. That's a good. Ah, oh, that's a good call. Good call. Epo epic, epic echoing echoing courage would still would still count. Pillage number what? Three. Frenzied Goblin, number four. I was thinking Skeletonize probably gets cut. With Echoing Courage, I also don't know if I want two Trumpet Blasts. We can probably cut one Trumpet Blast. This is probably a, this is actually probably a 16 land deck, so if we, make, we can make one more cut and then feel pretty good about our deck, I think. Probably Skirt Commando. Wow, we have five frenzied goblins. That's unbelievable. I didn't even see this guy at first, and now we we just hit five of them. Yeah, I think this is our deck. I'm gonna go six ten. Nothing needs two two green. Um, but we do have a lot. Actually, we can probably go nine seven. No, I thought I like six ten. Oh, uh, I think it is both a good card and a meme. Like, I think it depends on if you get the. Yeah, this deck seems pretty easy to build. Uh, keep... So this guy into this guy. If we get a green, we can play Ember Weaver. Oh, definitely not pack one, pick one good. That no way. Not even not even close to pack one, pick one good. Like it will just come around. You'll get plenty of horseshoe crabs. Interesting. I don't think I ever play Ruthless Ripper on turn one. Aggressive. Ow. Ow. I just hit my toe. That bat is real aggressive. All right, well, I actually want seven, seven, nine here. I'm just gonna pass. I don't want to trade with you because then none of these guys get through. Okay, you got it. Yeah, we're definitely gonna add another green card or another forest rather how about one oh that's pretty cute Oh, all right. Well, so now they just go block, block, shoot, and then we have one, one, one. But I guess we're still kind of coming out ahead. Sure. Hey, we did it.
Sammy, 25 months, man. Thank you so much, dude. You are awesome. I was like, don't don't run that guy into my my spider, please. Man, spider, please. So we're just going to attack here, and then we're going to play Stampede Driver and Hordling Outburst. Fry Wilco, thank you so much, man. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. You are awesome. I appreciate it. And we get Stampede Driver to Stampede Drive all over these dudes. If we get another green, uh, it'd be good. Because then we can Truth and Drive. Truth and Drive. Profane Orphus, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out and for the, the sub. Really appreciate it. What you gonna do? I sit on you. I sit, sit, sit. I sit on you. All right, that's just fine. I feel like attacking here is a bad idea. You agreed. All right, so we're going to go one, two. Crimson Mage. Can I kill you? Maybe. If you have... So you're going to go block, block. You take eight. This guy dies. And then we get to keep echoing truth in hand. Um, sub or a $5 donation. So I think a sub is probably better if it's consistent. If you're going to consistently sub each month, that's just better because it looks better for like numbers and things. But, um, if it's just a one-time thing, $5 donation is probably better. So if they tap out before I activate the Stampede Driver, then we can Echo Encourage and it's real good. But if they don't, I mean, like, I feel like they're sitting on murder and they just haven't had a dude worth murdering. <laughs> God, it's so weird to reference murder in, in Magic cards. Yep. Yep. Activate this guy. Like we just have to activate here. I don't want to pass. I guess we could have let first strike damage resolve first, but it doesn't really do much. Goes to one. Sure. I mean, I have to assume this is this is nine damage if you draw land activate. But otherwise, I have to assume you don't have a way to deal eight extra points, so. Good to know. All right, we're taking one of you out and bringing out one more forest. Otherwise, I think we did pretty good. Yeah, it seems fine. Seems a good. Oh, uh, yeah, keep the sand. Oh, that's nice. 
creatures? Giving all of our creatures menace seems pretty good. I'm no I'm no menace expert, but You know you can't hold me forever. What do you get? You get a creature, enchantment artifact, land or planeswalker. So not this. Coalition relics in this set too? Good lord. So no dread maw. No you took the relic. Interesting. I guess you don't have any other colors. Boy, maybe we're just bringing pillage for that. I feel like Browbeat's going to be giving us some cards pretty soon. Oh, Zombify on Dreadmaw seems pretty okay. That's actually gas. I don't know if we have a good answer for that. Except for like really aggressively racing power two or less they got a red skeletonize one of our zomb okay they just hard cast the colossal dread maw yep that's about the same well the race is on we also have five damage with Kindles. It's pretty good. No blocks. God, why does this guy have Menace? Or why does this guy have Trample, rather? Oh, that's pretty good. Four, five, six. So they're one mana away from... So we can go shoot face, shoot your invoker. It's not great. <sighs> Hope you don't have a trick. I mean, if they had a, um, this guy gets trampled. So if they actually had a land in hand, they just get to go four, five, six, seven with the actual, um, counter and then eight to activate. So then they get to pump and deal 15. So we actually had to get rid of that guy, but it didn't feel good. Our deck also stumbles with a colossal dread maul a little bit, which is unfortunate. Play something small so that I can enthralling victor it. Nope, nothing. Another big dude. Yep, I guess that'll do. Cool. Five five flyer that makes six one ones when it comes into play. That's a cool card. Well, definitely bringing in pillage now. Wow, that was that was something. <laughs> something ridiculous. Thralling Victor seems pretty bad here as well. Probably skeletonize. I feel like that's better on their four three. Yep, we'll keep this. Alright, let's try again. Well, they went to five, so that's good for us. Bad for magic in general, good for us. Alright. Oh, that was a good draw. 
We have like two two creatures. You think Cinderstorm is even playable? Ever enemies burn spells? Um, well, it's not high variance, right? Because you're always. I mean, it's just target, right? I mean, by variance, do you mean getting to seven mana? Because I agree. Let's get in there. Sure. Uh, we're actually going to play Amber Weaver here. Next time we get a Hordling Outburst. Either way, we have three power on board to attack with, so. In before murder, I guess. No murder. All right, cool. We did it, Reddit. It's pretty good. Pretty sure we're just flame bright into echoing her. Actually, we can kindle that guy. And... I guess there's no point to do that. I like this because it gets a lot of damage with uh, Echoing Courage, but it also makes it so they can't kill the guy we target in response. Is this any fun? Yeah, I'm having a good time. I mean, it wasn't fun when they played Prosh, but, you know, what are you going to do? Five. Uh, is it worth thirty dollars? No, probably not. But it only costs us thirty if we. It's it costs twenty five, and it costs twenty two if you're using tickets. I think packs are like six. So packs are like six fifty, right? So three packs would be what nineteen fifty plus the four tickets, so twenty three fifty. So you block here, you take three. We kindle your face. If we draw land, we can make eight, uh, which lets us do both of these and attack for five and kill your guy. It doesn't do anything. Like, you have to block here, and then we can just skeletonize, I guess. Which is fine. All right, you're at virtual two. Here comes the bat. No, oh, here comes death, all right. Frenzied goblin, sure. Let's make sure, let's put one more forest in. I think it's worse value in paper because you can't immediately turn over the cards. Let me actually see if I can sell these Blood Moons and just buy cheaper ones. And now you can hold me forever. Because the Blood Moons go for 1770, so if they're giving me more than 1770, it's. 1870. It's like a dollar difference. It's probably fine. Probably correct. Who cares with three months sub? Thank you so much, man.
Oh, we got to take the tickets, I guess. All right, cool. Well, let's go back to our maps to make sure we don't miss the thing. Oh, do we do it? Ooh, we just made it. All right. Jay Sizzle, thank you so much, man. Finally catch you live. Good luck. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Let's go 10, 10, 10, 10. This is less easy than just going like, how much is it? 12 more? Two more. One, two. So 76. All right. Cool. A dollar is a dollar. You are not wrong. They might go down too. So I can pick them up at a lower rate. All right. Let's go back to our match. This hand is keepable. Turn two Kindle, turn three Hordling Ampers, turn four Zada, ideally with a forest into Echoing Courage. What is with the animation of the bits falling out of the cup? Do you still get the bit? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's just, it's just a playful animation. God, can you imagine if like I only got the bits if they didn't fall out of the cup? That would be hilarious. That's like the Hunger Games Twitch style. Guys, no more bits, please. Well, that's a green card. We were looking for a forest, not a green card. I know they're similar, but uh, it's not really the same. No blocks. I'm also not killing this guy with a Kindle. Unless they play something scarier and I need something, I need three damage, but. Oh, I really just want to play that. I guess we'll just play Hordling Outburst. You know you can't kindle forever. If you exile the green card from handing a green mana. Wow, that's pretty good. I didn't know that. Wow, brainstorm into accumulated knowledge. Okay. A lot of things are happening right now. So they drew one, and then they drew three, and they put two back. Sure. Uh oh. Here we go. Get crabby. Crimson Mage. Oh, Lore Scale Coatl and Brainstorm seems pretty sweet. We're definitely going to Trumpet Blast here if they... Actually, we might just play Psy and Kindle. I like that better. I just don't want them to have any shenanigans with this guy. We did miss a land drop, which is sad. Dusk Legion Zealot seems pretty good against us. It just blocks our 1-1s one all day. All right, well. And yes. And if you want to trade here, then you can't equip next turn, which is just fine. Because I assume they can just equip and then shoot this guy anyway, so. Also, Heavy Arbalist with Horseshoe Crab seems pretty insane. I would not have risked that for one point of damage. Especially against the red deck, so. So this guy's a 4-4? Four, four? That's pretty good. No, nope, we're going to make it hasty. Do, 
Do, do, do. Again, if you want to trade here, I think that's still fine. Because otherwise you're just going to equip Arbalest and start, like I don't know why you're throwing these guys away when you got an Arbalest. An Herbalist, if you will. Oh, draw two. Okay. Aggressive. Yeah, this guy's getting murdered 100%, unfortunately. Don't want to play forest. We don't need two white or two uh, four two green. Well, here's something big. Twisted abomination. Sure. Well, this is getting awkward now. Apparently these guys would rather just die. No blocks. Sure. Oh, well, that's sad. Ugh. Three, four. Steals guys with power two or less. That's cool. Three, four. Deals three. That's cool. Everything bad is happening. If we had Cinderstorm, is that what it's called? Uh, we could actually go Kindle for three, Cinderstorm for seven, and kill them. Which seems pretty interesting. Why can't you just have two power? I don't understand. Yep. Guess we're just passing here. I don't feel great about anything that's happening right now. Okay. Good times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We literally almost have the win in hand, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, which we have. I think we just die to these two guys, right? Whoa, no, hold on. Two. Just a mind sculptor better than all. Sure. 
sure. Doesn't really matter because we're gonna have to block this guy, so it might have been better mana use to just keep it on this guy, but yep, we have to block. Well, Hexproof technically is more interactive than Shroud, but only one sidedly. Yep. Four, six, seven. Nope, that does nothing. All right. Well, then. That was good times. Bring in Roadkill. Thank you so much, man. Three months in a row. Really appreciate it. Um, take out the Browbeat. Browbeat's never good. Bring in the Pillage. Take out the Enthralling Victor. Bring in Skeleton Eyes. You can also see bringing in Plummet here. Over likely. Eh, I think the rest of our deck is actually just fine. Yeah, this hand's not where we want to be. I guess we can go turn one side, turn two Goblin, but then, like, would we hope we draw lands forever? This is actually better. It's much better. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll keep that. Uh, the old Jace the Mind Sculptor deck. Neros, have a good night, buddy. Are you ready for the counterspell on this? Blue Elemental Hydro Blast? Arcane Denial? Uh, two, two, one, 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 one. Seems good. Literally tempted to just kill this guy so we can attack for four. Let's see, it feels bad, but. I mean, we want to get closer to things like Echoing Courage and Trumpet Blast, which are both better when we have more guys on board for obvious reasons. Okay, 16 land deck. Draw seven lands. Seems good. What are the blue flash guys in here that we're fighting against here? Sure. I guess we're just fighting against murders. Bird. Nope, not going to be Bird, because Bird costs... I guess they both cost six. Oh, third Kindle, four damage to the face, huh? I like four damage to the face, but I like killing your Twisted Abomination even better. Well, that doesn't do anything. Maybe we kill a black here? It seems like, like if they're going to murder something, we can take them off murder and force them to murder now and we can just get the two damage in. Which I feel like they're going to do. Yep. So now we can get two damage in. Yeah, Cinderstorm has consistently looked good apparently, so maybe we just bring in the Cinderstorm if there's a game three. Yep. And that was how we lost. Jaced the Mind Sculptor. 
cool. Can't imagine how we get out of this, but we probably just don't. It's just because of brainstorm forever. That's pretty good. Sure. Well, draw two and brainstorm. That's pretty good. Go to seven cards. We're going to have a fourth Kindle in the deck, but I don't think we do. Seven mana. Interesting. Just over... Okay, sure. <laughs> Well, we're not dead yet. I mean, we're pretty close. We're basically dead. Like, we're virtually dead. This game uh, is not great. I don't think we have any actually burn spell that deals four damage to their face. Which is unfortunate. Every time I see you draft something that isn't cube, the games don't seem fun at all. I wish that was less true. But, like, my big problem with formats that aren't cube are their swingy cards, like Jace the Mind Sculptor. And you're just like, well, I don't have a card anywhere near that caliber, so I can't do anything. I drew another mountain in my 16 land deck. Cool. Oh, another land. Oh, a Trumpet Blast. Yeah. Well, all right. Oh boy, I'm taking the browbeat for like a skeleton eyes, I guess. I just feel like that's gonna be better more often. We have bolt, but they're at four, so it doesn't really do anything. Keep this hand, why not? Like the thing about Cube, right, is that like they can play a Jace, but we have so many more options to outplay them. Not outplay them, but like we can draw similar things. We can we can draw Gideon Jura, we can draw a Martial Coup. Um, every bomb they play is pretty much on par with the bombs you yourself are playing. So it's, it's, it's hard in formats, even like formats like this, like if they play a Jace and you draw a land or a frenzied goblin or something like your cards are just not as good. And that's just the bottom line. Like even in round one, like our opponent plays Prosh, right? They get a six, six flyer and six one ones. We don't have cards that deal with that. Oh, wow. That's that's pretty good. Oh, all the way from Singapore. Nice. However, that makes me feel bad about this. I didn't mean to kill your bear. I'm sorry. Uh, my stance on the, the legalization of recreational cannabis, I think it should 100% be... I don't even smoke, but I think it should 100% be legalized uh, on a federal level because I um, I don't think... I think there are so many more things like, like cigarettes, regular cigarettes, and alcohol that are worse than cannabis. And uh, I think the United States is has an antiquated law system. Um, and they're losing millions of dollars in tax money that could improve things like 
schools, infrastructure, you name it, you know, um, through taxation. So I don't even smoke, but I think the, the system also, um, the system of, of cannabis being illegal or illegal rather, um, it, what's the word I'm looking for? Nah, doesn't matter. Do we play a land every turn? Do we miss a land drop? <sighs> That's annoying. Everything's annoying. I'm just sad all the time. <laughs> Nosegad, what's going on, buddy? Uh, choose this guy. It doesn't matter. I don't want to, I don't want to do these. No. No. These are some aggressive goblins. Man, Swiftfoot boots costing one more than um uh what's it called? Lightning Greaves. No, I don't even have any red. Stop asking me. I'm starting to wonder if we can just win through frenzied goblins and no blocks. Oh, is that my grandma? Hi, grandma. Oh, this is great, because now we can... <laughs> sure is my sweet boy. Oh, God, I can't even handle it. All right, so yes... And then no. All right, so forest off the top should guarantee victory is my theory. I have the good mythical morning song stuck in my head. Good Mythical Morning shout out. Oh, come on, Victor. That's stupid. Oh, man. I guess we're just passing here. Abs of treason. Wow. Wow. That's not okay. That's not an okay thing. Oh, a murder of... Murder of schmoes. Alright, this is where we lose. This guy has been so underwhelming in these matches we've played. Can a dude get a forest? I have to sneeze. It's real bad. We're just going to alpha here. Make your guy unable to block. Blomp, 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 blomp. I don't know what this jam is I'm singing, but it's clearly a good one. Uh, they're both going to this guy. No mistakes. Yes.
No. So you can block here and take four, five, six, and you go to one. Oof. It's just whenever another creature dies. Oh God, why are you like this? I guess we could actually lightning bolt all of our guys. We could target Zada with lightning bolt and then lightning bolt all our guys. That seems good, right? It doesn't seem good. I guess my expect <laughs> I guess my expectations for enthralling Victor, they might be too high, but in the sense that like I want the actual text on the card to do a thing. So when it doesn't, I guess that is that is me having too high expectations. Oh, look at this little little timber pack wolf. Now we get to steal a thing. Unless they play a second timber pack wolf, in which case... Uh, that's real sad because... Reasons. Alright. So I think we can win the game here. I have a good feeling. I have a good feeling. I got a feeling. A feeling deep inside. What if my victor gets countered? It does. Wow, that's likely the most rude thing you could have ever done. So if we attack with Zada and this guy and this guy, we make one of these unable to block, right? We probably make this guy unable to block. So then you have to block probably here. And then here, and you take one, and you're dead on board to Lightning Blizzolt. I'm game. All right. Taking risks here. Yep. Seems good. And we get rid of the murder of crows. More like murder of bros. Am I right? Probably. I don't know. I just work here. Stop! What are you talking about, Exile? What, what are you talking about, Exile Stampede Driver for Green Dude? I don't understand anything that's happening right now. Okay, so as long as you don't have Blue Elemental Blast, I think you're dead. This is where you draw a card. You greedily draw a card. You greedy biscuit. We could also lightning bolt. If they do attack, we can lightning bolt the timber pack wolf to make sure we can get in for one. That seems good, right? Spoiler alert. It does not seem good. It seems bad. They could have arcane denial, which would make a dude cry. Pa pow Don't have it. Oh, they didn't have it. We won the game. We won the game. Man, I always want pillage. Unbelievable. Every game I've wanted pillage. Enthralling victor? Actually, you, you'll probably be good this game if they don't have the thing, right? So let's hope they don't have the thing. Stampede driver can probably come out. I don't know. I don't know, Dad. I'm okay, Dad. Oh, I don't know what to what what to do. What to do? Skirt Commando seems bad. I don't know, bad. Um, I 
What happened? Did I click submit? I guess I did. That's awkward. But it's also turned out to be fine, so what are you going to do? How about let's get a Crimson Fire Guy into a Hordling Outburst? How's that sound? I just want two packs, man. I'll be satisfied with two packs. 16 lands, 41 cards, draws a mountain. Seems good. And by good, I mean seems bad. Kindle. Thanks. Sometimes you just get to Kindle. Don't play a thing. Oh, heavy arbalist. All right. Well, no more lands would be nice. I want to be like the Scarlet Witch when she said no more mutants, but I want to say no more lands instead. That's a it's a House of M throwback in case you guys are Marvel fans. Oh, uh, you can cheer. Cheers don't go toward April Rent, though. Cheers are just cheers. But don't think you have to go for April Rent just to uh, just to help me out. I mean, they all help. Wow, did they just bounce two lands? That's crazy, dude. Oof, so you got double island? Island, island. Sure. Sherpa. <laughs> oh, good times. We're having a good time. So you played an island. We know that. We know this much is true. I feel like we skeletonized this idiot because it's either another Fathom Seer or it's the 2-2. Two -two. The 2-2. Two -two. I just want to get rid of it. I just want you to die. Or it's that idiot. All right. Well, that's cool. So they have three different morphs in their deck. Oof. Cheers do help the spirit. You're not wrong. Also, if you guys want to subscribe, that helps too. Subscriptions are great. They help keep me alive. I'm like Tinkerbell instead of clapping subscriptions. Yep. 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 Boom. 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 Stand in the place where you live. Stand in the place where... Unfortunately, attacking for five doesn't do anything. <laughs> so, whatever. A serial tier list real quick? It's hard. I think Cinnamon, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is at the top. There's actually a Walmart brand cereal called Marshmallow Mateys. Uh, and it's literally just Cocoa Puffs, but it has marshmallows in it. And it's called Marshmallow Mateys, and it is top tier. Just to be clear, just in case you guys didn't know about the top tier marshmallow mateys. Um, but yeah, very good. 
Very, very good. Very, very cheap. One pound fish. I guess we go goblin here. Um, no. So that's like that's like one of my top top cereals. But otherwise, I think there's actually too many cereals. to rank them effect in an effective manner. Hot chocolate cocoa puffs with marshmallows? That's basically marshmallow mateys. What a... What a ripoff. Oh, I like this. We just make their shoreline range or unable to block. They're at 12? That's actually seemingly better than I expected. Oh boy, we're getting we're getting Bernie here. We're getting weekend of Bernies up in here. So, alright, we can move the Psy to the frenzied goblin. Attack with everyone, they take four. Move it. Move it back. So that's four. And then we can keep one up for Bolt, I guess. Oh, I guess it takes three because they're going to block the victor. To the enthralling victor go the spoils. Stand in the place where you live. Like, we're just trying to get all the increments of three we can. So they move this here, and they go to kill this guy in combat, but they can't block then. So we gotta keep Victor up. Also, if they want to ship that Arbalest over to, like, the Shoreline Ranger, that's pretty good, because it... I guess they could block and then shoot. But we make it unable to block, so then they go, they just shoot, but then they shoot and block. Yeah, they block with Dragon's Eye Savant and still shoot. Takes care of two dudes. So they're likely blocking Victor with Savant. Yeah, that's pretty good. However, if they let us attack with this guy... That seems fine. All right. Attack with the Shoreline Ranger. I dare you. That's a hasty gentleman. Stand in the place where you live. Um, we actually will do that because we might be able to get more damage through a stampede driver here. Um, yeah, sure. This is actually a lot of damage. So they have one block and then one shoot, and then if they try to shoot... Oh, God. I think they just lost on the spot there. Um, discard Kindle, because it's just a more expensive lightning bolt at this point, and it makes future Kindles better. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, you're just dead on the spot, right? That was... Not correct sequencing. Plus they get trample. Oof. I'll prep the good games, but I'll wait. Oh, got him. All right. Two packs. Feels better than no packs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. That draft was pretty sweet, even though I wasn't 100% on our deck. I think it was good. Um, But there's a lot of... 
dirtily creatures that can trade with our one ones um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys are watching on youtube slam those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content definitely helps me out a ton and i'll see you guys next time